Hey guys, um, this is Patrick Balloon. Normally I do uh, some podcasts for uh, Webcam Studio, but this time I'm going to do something for the iPad. Um, I just made a small discovery this morning. Um, I don't know if it was already documented somewhere, but anyway, I'm going to show it to you. So first thing you need to do is to connect your iPad to, uh, to, to your machine. And this is done with uh, Ubuntu 12.04. So I get my shared document folders here. And as you can see, I, I can see uh, a lot of apps in there. The thing is, uh, some apps do not share their document folders for some reason. I don't know why, but anyway. And uh, I found a, a neat way to access that, that content anyway without jailbreaking or without having to compile something so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go in a console here and you move into CD uh, GVFS which is the mount the, the subfolder where your uh, iPad or any i device um, uh, mount points will be listed so if I move in there and I type LS then you see I have two mount, mount points one for the documents one for the iPad to access um, the, the pictures and stuff like that so let's not let, let's simply go and list the content of the document mount And you will see it's gonna take a few a few seconds I don't know why but that's how it works and I'm gonna see a bunch of subfolder in there should be almost done and those subfolders actually as you can see I have com dot google dot google plus uh, I have com dot half pen that pen so all my apps are listed here and I have way more than what I have in my documents uh, my shared documents here like we, we have in iTunes under Windows so the trick is to go in there uh, pick one you want to have so I'm gonna and I'm gonna take Minecraft um, if I can remember where it is oh there it is so as you can see minecraft pocket edition is here that's the name of that subfolder if you if you move into that subfolder actually you won't see anything so only the name uh, has to uh, is important here so let's copy that so I'm gonna close that terminal and uh, I don't know why but once you browsed that folder you need to disconnect the iPad for the other stuff to work so I'm going to disconnect my iPad and reconnect it because I, if I don't do that uh, Ubuntu will say there's an error accessing the device and I don't know why but that's how it works so I get I go back to my document folders then press Control L and I have a, 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 like a big URL in there starting with AFC there we go and if I go at the end it at the end uh, let's say I, I would move into uh, air disk pro I move into that and you see there's the key of the app here but all I see is those that have implemented the shared folder feature but uh, for Minecraft it's not implemented by default I don't know why how it does that but anyway Remember, I copied the, uh, the the folder name, which is actually the application key. So if I paste it here, which is com.mojang.minecraftpe, and I simply go there, I access that document folder anyway, even if it's not listed by default. And if I drill down, I end up in Minecraft Worlds, and you can see all my my maps I did in Minecraft so I could use like all kinds of uh, uh, any application can be accessed this way so let's go back and I have generated 
uh, where is it again? Um, in my home folder, in the bin folder, I have generated a script to uh, list all those uh, all, all all those subfolders and create some URLs. So it's kind of going to be easier each time. Uh, let's say I'm gonna pick uh, you don't see anything right now so let's go here let's say I'm gonna pick uh, something that is not listed um, I have oh there I have mooncraft full yeah I know I like this stuff um, if I go here mooncraft is not listed so control L and simply paste the URL I had and oh this time it didn't work oh Maybe sometime it works, sometime it doesn't. Or maybe I have to disconnect it each time. So let's try that. There we go. Reconnect it. Should show up. Also, maybe you have to do that one, each time you want to access one folder. So let's try that. There we go. So once you have accessed one full one subfolder you need to disconnect your ipad and reconnect it i don't know why but hey i didn't make this stuff so you see in luna craft i have a bunch of maps or i don't know files that i could toy with i don't want to play with that because i don't want to break anything but if i try to go in something else there we go so once i did that small trick i need to disconnect the ipad each time but anyway, hey, it's a neat trick. Don't need to jailbreak your uh, your iPad. Uh, it's available by default in Ubuntu. So whatever you do, um, just need to disconnect each time and reconnect each time. But hope you enjoyed that little tip from uh, uh, an Ubuntu user and iPad user at the same time. Thanks. Bye.